So it's been a long time since I've had any console made by Nintendo. The last one I had my hands on was the Nintendo 3DS released in 2011. I've never really gotten into their releases outside of the Pokemon games. The Nintendo systems to me have just been Pokemon playing machines. With this new Nintendo Switch OLED in hand, we're going to change all of that. What's going on guys, Javier here. Today I've got my hands on the newest Nintendo release, the Switch OLED. I'm probably going to get roasted for this, but I've also never, ever played a Zelda game. With that, I've also got Breath of the Wild to carry my first Nintendo Switch experience. Unboxing this was simple enough, but exciting. The first thing you see are your Joy-Cons and the system. I was trying to decide between the neon set or the white set. I decided on the white Joy-Cons and dock would go better with my setups since I'm more into neutral colors. Off the bat, the Switch itself feels really solid, more so than I was expecting. There's a good heft to it, but it's not heavy at the same time. The system itself is pretty basic, with some downward firing speakers, a USB-C port on the bottom, and this long kickstand, which is apparently a huge upgrade from the last one. The Joy-Cons as well feel well built, no complaints here. They're super tiny though, for my hands. I think I might pick up one of those Pro Controllers in the future. Then underneath, you have the dock itself. This one I got comes in white, whereas the Neon Joy-Con set version would be black. It's super light plastic, almost a little flimsy, but we'll see how it goes. This also came with an HDMI cable with Nintendo branding, which is nice. The USB charging brick is kind of large, so if you have a multi-plug or a power bar, this might not fit that easily. And lastly, there are two Joy-Con wrist straps. Coming down to the design, this thing is really nice. It seems all the latest consoles have been designed gracefully, if that makes sense. The Xboxes are minimal, the Nintendo Switches as well. The wildest of the bunch, if even that, is the PlayStation 5. The Switch in black and white has a simple aesthetic, so it really fits anywhere you place it. Sitting on my desk, it really matches to my Xbox Series S. Coming down to the build quality, as mentioned, it's pretty sturdy. However, there's some give when it comes to the dock and the Joy-Cons. I'm not sure if this will worsen over time. However, the Joy-Cons seem to move a bit even when connected through the rails on the system. As well, when docked, the switch is super wobbly and rocky. I'm unsure if this would have an effect on the USB-C port at all, but it would be nice to have this a little more sturdy. Still, it's not really an issue as it's not really gonna be moving much while docked. The Joy-Cons and the controller grip are sturdy. Even with the bit of Joy-Con movement, it's not likely gonna be too noticeable. Small thing here that I disliked at first is actually the recessed power button, but after I got used to it, I figured it makes sense to help against accidental presses. Now the main reason for the upgrade, if you've already got a Switch, would be the OLED display. Now since this is my first Switch, I actually can't compare it to the display on the old one, but honestly, what I can say about this display is the colors are vibrant as all get out, and it does look super nice. Brightness is actually great, and will even make do if you're outside. The display is only 720p, but to be honest, for a handheld system, this is absolutely fine, especially because of the size. Not that it's too important, but the viewing angles could be a little better. The uniqueness of the Switch, I feel, comes mostly with their controller. Unlike most consoles, there's actually many ways to enjoy playing games with these. You can use them separated, one in each hand, connected to the Joy-Con grip for a controller experience, or on the Switch itself as a handheld. All of these options are pretty sweet to have. I haven't seen anything else like this before. The Joy-Cons are super light and they simply work. You never really need to worry about the battery life, which is nice, and they do the job well. There are two things I personally don't like though. One mentioned before is how much give they have while connected to the rails on the Switch itself. I feel like they really should be more solid. And secondly, probably just a me only problem, is the A, B, X, Y layout. I've been on Xbox for like 20 years, so my mind simply cannot grasp the different layout. It's driving me nuts. Again, that's probably only a me problem, but I'll give it some time. When it comes to gaming, it's a great experience, really. I've only had a bit of time playing Breath of the Wild, which has been good. I'm almost a little overwhelmed by the size of the map, but at least the game's a good time. For a handheld system, I was pleasantly surprised by the quality of this game. I figured there'd be a performance difference when docked versus handheld, however that's yet to be seen. This thing works great through and through. I'm really looking forward to trying all the new Pokemon releases. I did start with Zelda since I've never played any of them, even back as a kid. While I haven't tried to swap between games at all, starting up the console takes just moments and I'm gaming within 20 to 30 seconds which is amazing. Luckily, the Switch has Bluetooth support as well for wireless headphones. Throwing on my AirPods really gets me into my game. 
The downward facing speakers are nothing special, but they do the job just fine. If you need, you can connect some wireless headphones like me or use the 3mm jack for a headset. Taking a look at their library of games, for some people, this could easily be their only system. I'm impressed with the titles they have available now compared to their previous systems. These games are full console experiences you could have in your hand. This to me feels super futuristic. Before, my Nintendo DS would just be a Pokemon playing machine as I mentioned and that's it. But today, the Switch is definitely up there with the other consoles for available titles. Well done Nintendo. So outside of the available games and exclusives, portability is another reason to pick this up. Primarily being a PC and console gamer, I forget you can just pick the Switch up out of the dock and take it with me wherever. I haven't really considered portability to be a huge plus before, but having this as an option has been really nice. While I wouldn't say this is pocketable, it's definitely tight enough to temporarily pop it into a pocket and it'll definitely fit into a bag of any sort. Whenever I travel next, this will definitely be my go-to. I mostly use this dock to a TV set, but having the ability to flip the kickstand and play on a tabletop is totally badass. Having a portable system like this in an open world Pokemon game is everything I dreamed of as a kid. Now since I work from home and I don't travel much, docking to this TV is still my go-to experience. Having this hooked up to a 4K TV is amazing. Apparently the Switch dock outputs an upscaled 4K. No idea if that's true or how to tell. Either way, I'm not really comparing it side by side to anything else and it looks incredible. It's super relaxing to be able to sit back, throw on Breath of the Wild, and get really immersed into the story. When I'm done, I can easily take it with me and continue wherever else. Quick shout out to the size of the dock and the vertical orientation. Honestly, I have this super tiny mantle in the basement and this is the only console that fits well here. Overall, the Switch is a totally new experience to me. The uniqueness of the controllers as well as the portability makes this a whole new way to game. With popular console releases as well and new and exciting exclusive, the Nintendo Switch really is a beast of its own. I'm definitely late to the Nintendo Switch, but I can't wait to see what the next generation Nintendo creates and the future of handheld gaming. Anyways, that's been it. Thanks for watching. Till next time.